We're here with Damani State. Damani, first, just kind of give us a quick up update on how camp has been going for you so far this fall. Camp's been um, pretty good. You know, um, despite all the stuff that's going on around the world, we're still competing, still focusing on the season and working as a team. And you talk about some of those those things that have gone on in the world. Um, a lot of uncertainty, really, since we shut down back in March. Um, just kind of tell us how you kind of kept yourself focused, both mentally and physically, over the last several months to, to be ready for the season. Well, I just kept thinking, you know, um, whether we have a season or not, I just had that mindset that we're, we're still going to have a season. You know, so stay ready, stay prepared, you know, just in case, you know, um, we'll uh, have a full season. So, yeah. What specifically have you been working on to try to improve your game here this this fall? I was just um, getting myself um, uh, more uh, strain more, staying in condition, um, getting in shape. So that's what focus for the most part. Um, obviously, Ernest Jones has been out so far uh, this fall. Tell us a little bit about what positions you've been playing and and kind of where you fit into this defense right now. Well, I had to. Um, Feel his role, you know. Um, like Coach always said, man down, man up. So you always gotta stay ready, be able to uh, move around, you know, switch from Mike, to Will, to Sam, you know. So um, it's good to um, stay all three of them, so you know the defense very well. You've been in the program now for four years and, and have played all those positions, I guess. Is there one that you feel more comfortable with? You feel good at all of them? That, that you're ready to jump in there and, and play at, at, at I mean, speed? I, I pretty much like all of them. So I mean, um, whatever position, Coach. Um, Tell me um, to go play, I'll, I'll go play it 100%. So. One of the things uh, the NCAA came out a couple weeks ago talking about the opportunity that this is this season's a little bit of a wash in terms of eligibility-wise, you can come back. For you personally, have you given that any thought at all or, or what you might do um, next year? Um, I, I thought about coming back for um, another season, um, whether or not we, we still have a season or not. So I always had that in mind that I'm always come back. So. You. Let's be honest, you're not one of the more verbal guys on the team. You're more of a, a leader by example. But talk about your leadership and how maybe that's changed, how you've grown over the years here now that you are an upperclassman. Well, um, like you said, I always um, lead by example. You know, um, i always been like that, not a very vocal, by, vocal guy, but um, I always lead by example. You know, um, showing, you know, the, um, freshmen and others, you know, how to um, do their job. So. And you mentioned that the, the freshmen, the young guys, who has kind of stood out for you of, of those younger guys that kind of caught your eye and said, whoa, this guy's got a chance. Maybe not even this year, but, but down the road that, that could, could be a special um, player. I like Mo Cabo. You know, he's very physical. Like, um, he's still got a lot of work to do, but um, he's very uh, physical. Let's go back to your days at, at Ridgeview. And, and obviously, uh, your dad had played here, was, was somewhat of a legend here as a Gamecock. Did you always think that you'd be a, a South Carolina Gamecock? No. Um, I never thought that I would, but it's, it's a blessing to be here. I'm glad to be here. You know, um, I, uh, I never thought about um, fulfilling my dad's legacy. I always thought about creating my own. So, you know. any particular goals you've kind of set for yourself this season? Um, uh, uh, I'd say uh, get more tackles. Just get more tackles. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You had a chance to play behind T.J. Brunson for the last few years. What what did you learn from playing behind a guy like that? A guy who started for a number of years, and obviously in an NFL camp. Now? Oh, T.J. He's a, he's a great guy. You know, I um, always looked up to him. He always was my role model ever since I came here. Um, he was uh, such a great leader. He's kind of the same as me. He's not very local, but he leads by example and let, uh, sets the sets the um, tone for others. So um, wherever I see him walk out on the field, it motivates me to get better. You're playing for a, a new coach this year in Rod Wilson. Tell us about Rod and, and what he brings to the to the linebacker room. Oh, um, he brings he brings a lot to the table. Um, very cold. he's um, hard on us. You know, um, make sure we always do little things right. Always um, his main thing is our teaching, teaching. So um, we always go back. You know, um, look at all the little things. No matter if it's like a fit or a block or a miss uh, a little or a uh, miss leverage assignment. You always look at the little things. So. Chiefs the other day got their Super Bowl rings. Has he talked about that at all? And uh, you look forward to seeing that? Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't, um, haven't talked to him about that. All right.